Hello, it's Vinny here. Let's take a look into the US indexes, especially for S&P 500. I'm going to take a look into SPY, which is the ETF, and for NASDAQ. So I'm going to take a look into QQQ. All right, so to date, if you take a look into SPY, so it has dropped from the high of about 8.6%, about 42 points. Now, is this a surprise? I don't think so, because um, during last year, 2021, on the 18th of December, I did a market outlook and I have mentioned that we would and we should be expecting a bit of correction from the US indexes, especially with um, the uh, VIX on the VIX and COT. So, a correction from the US indexes, that is expected, I think. All right. So I think the key question right now to answer is how much it's going to drop and will there be an opportunity? So we, we talk about that the drop is probably going to happen. All right. And then the question is that, you know, is there a place that we are looking at um, for the drop to stop, the pause and for an opportunity? All right. I think that's the key question in your mind. Now, what I did is uh, in the Outlook uh, session. It's I also talk about the extent of each drop. All right, so for example, back in 2019, we saw that the S&P 500, SPY, had a drop of 20% and a point which was uh, 60 point. But, you know, at this point of time, it's a little bit different because at that point of time, the index was around 280. But now, we saw the index doubled. And we are talking about the index, you know, right now around the 450 range. Okay, but it makes sense to just take a look in terms of the percentage. And for example, we saw on two occasions that S&P um, had, SPY for example, had a drop of about 11%, 10.89%, and then that's about 11.8% here. Right, so if we go into the same logic uh, to sort of guess that if this time round S&P 500 might be having a, a, a drop of about 10%, then we will be expecting probably um, price to further drop into this area here. And it's interesting to look at this area because that was a known level, all right, which was uh, regarded right now as a support. So I think, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm happy or probably uh, it's reasonable to expect that, for example, the S&P uh, 500 might have a pause here around the region of 427 points. Okay, so do take note around this region here, 427 to 430 as a round number. Now, however, let's assuming that the 10% or 11% doesn't work out, and then we're going to have you know, a further drop in S&P 500, All right? And then where will be the next um, guess? Okay, so we'll be looking at either 60 point drops from the high. So 60 point drop from the high would mean that we are talking about this point here, which also land, which also will land itself into a zone of um, a resistance and a support. So that's a bit of a cluster here. Now the other expectation is probably to expect that you know S and P 500 to drop a 20 percent. So 20 percent. We are talking, uh, you know, in a quite extensive drop, all right, and that will land itself around here. So uh, I'm not saying it won't happen, all right, because that if it does happen, right, um, then uh, as long as we can take a proper action, then that might be still be an, um, an opportunity to us. Okay, so do take note on the few levels I've highlighted. First one would be here. Right, that's a 20% drop, so that's about 383. All right, the next one would be somewhere around here. All right, now where is this level? We assume that it's going to go into the same extent of a drop, and that's about a 60 point drop. Okay, so that's about 420. And of course, I have the red line that's being marked here, so that would be a 10 or 10 to 11% drop, and then that's about 480 here. Alright, so apart from um, looking into the S&P 500, right, I will also want to have a look again into the VIX of VIX. 
a lot of people are using VIX, but uh, myself, you know, apart from looking at VIX, I prefer to look into the VIX of VIX, and that will give me the um, the volatility. Of, I mean, uh, the 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 volatility of VIX. All right. So the assumption is that when VIX is into a low volatility, right, then uh, it's probably found itself a bottom. Okay, so I would like to read that together with the COT. This will give a better overview than just the normal accepted used uh, VIX, right? So um, based on what I've presented last December, then you can see that each time when VIX or VIX, it touched this level here, which is about 5.1, 5 5, 5.1 here, somewhere around this level, 5.1. Uh, let me just get you the lever. Yes, because I've changed the scale already. Uh, it's about 4.8. About 5 level. Okay, I think it's about 5. Alright, so if it's around the 5 region, we've seen that um, this 5 um, lever giving a bit of a rebound every time to the index okay so for example we saw that when recently it was at near to this level here five and s p had a low um near to this level five then it had a low again and it's on its way to five okay but again that it's it's not saying that every time it will be staying at five so what i did is i map out actually some other levels here so this is this other levels that we need to take note of Alright, so things like the level around 4. Okay, so do take note 4 and 5. And these are levels where uh, we've seen SP showing uh, rebounds. Okay, so as you know, that if SP can show a rebound, uh, I think we should be also expecting a bit of a rebound from the other two indexes, NASDAQ and um, uh, Dow Jones. Alright, okay, but something is a little bit um, interesting here. Is that despite when the market was dropping, okay, um, the COT went up. It didn't really move to the oversold, okay. In fact, that I think with this drop, the market is expecting a little bit of a rebound. So um, it went into further net long. So the market is still very much long. We have not seen that. Uh, the market went into a net sell situation. So with this, I'm not really very happy about it. All right, so um, we're going to observe what's going to happen to five, and then we're going to see whether if it ever goes into the four, whether the COT can be into the net sell. Okay, I would really prefer for uh, my long-term investments that the COT can move into the net sell position. Right, so that gives a little bit of a feeling that the market it has um has taken profit on whatever you want and it's onto its new cycle to enter into the bullish run again 